What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanna let you guys know I got all kinds of merch and stuff available on the website, new stuff dropping soon, and I just dropped a breast cancer shirt bundle with a pink breast cancer uh, colored uh, Bass Pro Shop hat, so make sure you guys check out the link in the description. You guys may remember a couple of months ago, my white truck back there got totaled. Um, I haven't dropped that video yet, but that video is coming soon, hopefully. Uh, shout out Ted Moore for the uh, Gen Y hitch, but uh, I still can't like, it's kind of weird. I can't like step up on it into the back. I mean, I guess I can. So if you guys, some of you guys made the, the infamous fish Yeti cooler, right? It smells really bad in here. Got some juices left in there. That's a lot of that is just like Dawn just soaking water. But I was told the other day, I read something the other day that uh, white that vinegar can get that smell out. So I bought like three dollars at Publix. I bought some vinegar last night, and uh, I'm just gonna dump the whole freaking thing. Does this top come off or what? I'm just gonna cut it open then because I don't know what the fuck's going on here. There we go. Anyway, I was told that vinegar would get the smell out. We're just gonna dump the whole thing in there. See if that won't get the smell out so I can actually use my Yeti cooler at some point. Definitely smells like vinegar. Well, I would hope it smells like vinegar, but I, I think maybe I'll throw some water in there with it or something. I don't know. Throw some more water and some more soap in there. Let it, let it slosh around a little bit. You like that word, slosh? slosh around a little bit. A lot of you would say, well, why don't you just get a new Yeti cooler? But my mom won this Yeti cooler for like 20 bucks in a raffle a couple years ago. And I feel like I feel like it's a complete waste of money for me to buy a new one because she won this one for $20. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna drop that, close it so it doesn't spill all over my truck. And we're gonna leave it and I'll update you guys soon. Mikey, I'm fucking pinned down over here. I need air support. I need air support. I'm fucking pinned down over here. God damn it. I need some fucking, fucking air support. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Spray myself in the fucking face. <laughs> God. Freaking. <laughs> He wanted to make sure that I filmed it. So I wanted to show some love. We got my body style GMC Denali. Love the Denali's with the chrome on the front. Um, actually here, I'm gonna get sidetracked for a second. So about a week ago, there's a driving school right here next to our shop. And uh, about a week ago, there was a, oh no, look, they're still there. No. Oh, I'm about to get stoned. Oh, I'm getting away. There's a yellow jacket nest right there. I just, I've been, I see them flying in and out. Oh, I'm about to get, I'm about to get got. It's terrifying. So you can't, I don't know if you can see from here, but there's a little yellow jacket nest in that corner right there. And uh, they, they were doing a class last week and the kids were messing with it. Obviously that's the front door and it just it was eating them kids up. And I feel bad about it, but I'm gonna, I didn't see any of them over there, and as I walked up, they started flying in and out. But I want to make sure to put this one on the channel. Got the uh, seven-inch McGoy's kit with the adaptive ride control pieces. Love that McGoy's kit. Absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like tan, greenish, bluish kind of color. 22 by 12 KG1 Vortexes with the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Love the Nittos. Best tire in the nation. KG1's got a beautiful wheel in this color. The truck color matched. Uh, color the the color matched freaking. Uh, or maybe they're not color matched. Am I just crazy? I feel like I'm crazy because these aren't color matched. But it looks so close in the sunlight, though, doesn't it? It look, almost looks like it is color matched. Bumper is. I hope. I'm just I'm blind. I love the truck though. He's a fan of the channel. Want to make sure to uh, show him some love in the video today. It looks really good. Shout out KG1. Look KG1 with the. Did we get the, oh yeah, we did the floaters. I forgot about that. Freaking beautiful. Look at that, that's so cool. KG1s with the floaters, McGoy's kit, Nittos, love it. Trying to show some love to all my stuff on the channel. We lifted this Liberty, did a three inch lift on the Liberty. I don't know if he's a fan of the channel, but I at least wanted to throw it on there for my Jeep people. Show something different for a change. Something that a lot of you guys are really gonna wanna see. I posted a short of this that got a bunch of views which is really cool. 
We did like a like a two inch leveling kit or two inch lift on this smart car with some uh, ATV wheels and tires and some whatever the hell kind of size tires, some Kumos or something. But I mean, it's it's wide and it looks it actually turned out a lot better than I expected that it would. It's got adapters on it with ATV wheels and tires and a leveling kit, and it's been cut back and forth to just freaking uh, it's 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 rough. It looks really cool though. Freaking smart car. Look at it. Hey, how may I help you? It's just, no. I need to get a price <laughs> on some tires. Okay, what size? Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, the, the, it's just the car comes with different sizes. What do you mean? It's just, I don't know, it's just a number of sizes that you can put on this car. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. Guess what? It's just, you have to, it's just. I'm not, I don't understand. No, it's just a bunch of excuses. It's just, it's just a bunch of it's just. Definitely the build of the day. Jose had his truck towed out here from Mississippi for us to lift it. I feel like we're in 2021 vibes. Getting a McGoy's kit and some 26 inch KG1s and Gladiators on the AT4 on the 2021. Pull this thing around for him. Yo, what do we got going on here, my guy? I really do like these new body style trucks. I really do. Oh, this is weird. It seemed like back in 2021, that was like the go-to setup that nine inch McGoy's kit, 26, 14, Gladiators. It's freaking hot in here, bro. What are you doing? I always set the camera up on the dash, hoping that it doesn't slide away while I'm going around the turns here. Terrifying. We're into that weather now where it's like 50 degrees in the morning and like 80 degrees during the day. Hey, how's it going? What can I do for you? It's going good, man. Got a problem. What's up? So I got this uh, Jeep out there, right? Yes, sir. Kind of all over the road. You know anything about that? Yeah, there's a bunch of things that could be. What, what kind of all over the road is it? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's all over the road. It's just, it's just, it's just. I don't know. Sorry. Just is it like at a high speed? I can't, can't, can't control myself. Is it like high speeds or low speeds? No, it's just, 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 just low. Low. Is it shaking or is it like... I, I just told you. Is it is it shaking or wobbling or pulling to the left or right? You, just, just, are you hearing something? Just, 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 I used to have a truck like that. What's the deal with it? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. Hey, how's it going? Hold on, Zach's watching corn. Let's see what he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, are you watching fucking porn, buddy? Zach! Me! You watching porn? Oh, Get your ride. Yeah, sir. The pussy wagon has arrived. <laughs> Where are we going? Shut up! <laughs> Sit the fuck down back there! You, pull, you just pulled up and opened up the doors so majestically. This is where we're going? This is where we're going. All right, get the fuck out, everybody. You have arrived. And we gotta wait for everybody to get off. Hey, you fucking peasant. You too. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Something happened, it is zoomed in, but it's cool, go ahead. I wanna take this opportunity to uh, let you guys know that the Bread Gang shirts are still on the website. You're in a shadow. The Like em Wide hats are also on the website. It's fine, because RJ fixed my camera and it auto fixes for the light now. So thank you, RJ, for that little little uh, snip of- uh, I would say contribution. Contribution to my uh, cinematic photography, videography stuff. Anyway. So first on the channel, never we've never had this happen, or maybe we have, and I just don't remember. So, so Mr. Jose had his truck towed to us from Mississippi. I tried to go get the truck, but it just timing didn't work out. I, I, I didn't have enough time to go get it. So Jose had the truck shipped to us. We're gonna lift it, 
and then somebody's coming to pick it up today at five o'clock to ship it back to Mississippi. I've never even seen Jose. I could I could be getting catfished. 100%. You ever think about that? We could be getting catfished right now. Because I've never met Jose. I talked to him on the phone. He's a super nice guy. Hello, Jose. But it just, it's one of those things like this could, something about this can be completely off and I would never know about it. But I mean, his money's green. So, or his credit card numbers get approved. So, I mean, technically speaking, nothing is wrong here about the situation. So, but I just wanted to throw that in there that I've, we've never done this before. 2021 GMC 1500. Hey, turn around. SouthernTiesCollection.com <laughs> with, with the clinched cheeks. <laughs> oh God. That was, that, was, that was awkward. I do have the nicest ass at the shop. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, yeah. uh, ah. 2021 GMC 1500 with the McGoy's kit. Obviously the, the, the favorite up here. I'm sorry. Mark, if you're watching this, you know I love FTS. I'm just kidding. Uh, nine inch McGoy's kit. We did the uh, 26 by 14. What up, Gary? 26, 14 KG1s. I was, I was, I was going to say with the floating cap. They don't have floating cap. Spike lug, gotta have the spike lug nuts, and then we, uh, we're throwing it, but like I said at the beginning of the video, we're throwing it back here to 2021 vibes with our uh, Gladiators and KG1s and McGoy's kit, because that's 100% what it feels like. It feels like I'm in 2021 right now, back when things weren't as terrible, and, you know. I feel like I'm in the middle of the road right life, now. life was better. Somebody's over there sweating on me. Come on through. I believe in you. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> he did not look happy. <laughs> no, he didn't. If he watches the, if, if, if hey, if you just drove by and you watch the, and you watch the videos, we love you. We love you. Look, it's, it's kind of like uh, Daniel Medio's truck. Similar. His is AT. His is a Denali. But I actually really like this truck. Oh, we did the wheel lights too. We got the infinite wheel lights on there. Looking all pretty. It's a beautiful looking truck. What look is that? I think it's a, uh, what was that, the Magotteries? It's the Magoors. The, the, the Magooey? The McGregors. The McGregors. <laughs> we... <laughs> All right now, shut up. We should probably address the uh, the McGregors and the... I love when people come in and they're like, yeah, it's the Magotteries kit. Like, where's the R in the name? Where's the R in the name? You sell that McGroovers kit? <laughs> Jeez. Y'all sell the McGregor kit? It's McGoys. When you call, when you call them, they say, thanks for choosing McGoys. That's Cliff. That's how Cliff talks. Hey, Cliff. Cliff. I don't think Cliff watches the videos. Anyway, uh, I will say, look, I want to throw this out there. I probably shouldn't say this, but uh, Steve McGoy is either one of the owners or the owner's son or somebody up there. Steve, if you're watching this, I love you. I sent you a, a, an extra shirt in the uh, in the package, a Southern Tire shirt, if you see this before you get your package. He actually bought a hat and a breast cancer shirt, so that was uh, super cool. So appreciate you. If you're watching this, it's all love over here. McGoy's is my favorite lift kit, actually, so all jokes aside. But Jose, your truck is done, and I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be weird watching this get towed away on a tow truck. Almost like something's wrong with it. But I hope you enjoy the truck, and if you need anything, it's all love. Let me know. You guys have been killing it on the website, and I really appreciate you guys buying hats and shirts and uh, decals. And, you know, so I, I've got so much stuff, the breast cancer stuff. I've got a lot of stuff on the website right now, and you guys have been showing a lot of love. I really appreciate it. So a couple of things that I wanted to throw out there. The like and wide hats. I'm gonna continue running these for a little while, maybe a couple of weeks. So if you guys want one, I'd go ahead and put an order in relatively quick because they're only gonna be here for a couple of weeks and then I'm gonna put a like a new breast can or not a breast cancer, a bread gang design of this out. So I'm probably gonna get rid of the wheel entire, get rid of the like and wide. So if you guys like this hat, I'd go ahead and place an order. It takes me about a week to get them printed. Everything's made to order. So just kind of be patient with me. It's just me that runs everything and I have to place orders and you know get them all shipped out myself. And that's part of the fun of putting this on the channel is allowing you guys to see the process or some of it. But the other thing, can you hear my husky in the background? Bet they're whining, that dog loves me. Other thing, I just had this test done, Southern Ties hat. I love the green with the logo on the front. Uh, these are like a, like a vinyl kind of printed, just like a Bass Pro Shop hat is, that kind of vinyl paper, like waterproof paper kind of style. Really am in love with this design, not in love with how it's printed. I would much rather do embroider on a hat like this because I'm so confident in this design. I love this design so much. So what I'm gonna do, I've already bought, here look, my Cabela's haul from yesterday. I got some Krabby Patty fruit snacks because I definitely need to gain more weight. I've been eating too good. Got a bunch of black Bass Pro Shop hats because you guys love the black ones the most. 
And then I picked up a bunch of these brown, like this greenish, army greenish color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print four or five of these just to get them tested, right? Angel! She's in there crying because she can hear me talking. I'm gonna get four or five of these printed, right? And the first five people to order these on the website, from the moment you see this video, these hats will be on the website. So the first five people to order them, they'll take me about a week to get printed, but the first five people to order them, We'll get one of the tests with the waterproof vinyl like the like and wide hats are. Like this is waterproof, right? Just like a Bass Pro Shop hat. Is. The first five people, this isn't gonna be a long-term design. So the first five people to order this is gonna get this hat just as it sits. But once the five people order those, I'm only getting five of these printed. I'm looking in the embroider for this. So, but I'm gonna get five of these printed just cause I know that there are a couple people like at the shop and stuff that want them. So I'm gonna get some of these printed, but five of you are gonna be able to buy these on the website if you would like it. So from the moment you see this, I'd go click on the website and I'd order one. They're the same price as the like and wide hats. It's still a Bass Pro Shop hat and it's going to have the Southern ties on the front. But I'm only going to get five of these in the green printed and that's it. I'm going to look into embroider for this. So I'd make sure to go pick one of those up on the website. Once those five are gone, the paper like this is never coming back. So just, I just wanted to let you guys know. And I'm, I love like the, like the blue and white. I wear the black a lot, obviously, and I'm looking into other designs, but I'm definitely going to start pushing more Southern ties stuff just because I really have a lot of fun coming up with ideas and designs and I've got some cool stuff that I'm working on so long sleeves hoodies zip up you know just all kinds of stuff that I just have fun with I try and make stuff that I would wear so if you guys want one of the southern ties uh, vinyl printed hats make sure you guys go pick one of those up on the website now I feel like it was weird that you know I'm making that clip and she's back there whining I at least need to Introduce you to the to the sweetheart. What you doing? Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hello. This is Angel. We got her a couple months ago. She's a sweetheart. Hello. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. She's probably about two or three. She was a stray, so we uh, adopted her. We now have three huskies. Angel's one of them. She's a little girl. She's very uh. She's very weird though. She can be a, a little aggressive, but for whatever reason, she absolutely loves me. She gets like really excited when I come home. She's just the nicest little thing. She's actually one of the only dogs, one of my only dogs that I can let run around in the yard. And she doesn't really mess with anything. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Where are you going? Uh-uh, come here. No, pretty girl. Angel, you can't go in the woods. Hi. Who's that? Who's that? Can you lift the camera? I feel like I couldn't I couldn't make that clip with you whining in the background and not at least show them that you love me. Hello. Mwah. Something I was pretty excited about. Showed you guys at the beginning of the video. The Yeti cooler. Has the smell going away. We're gonna find out. Vinegar has been in here for a couple of days. It smells like salad dressing. But I don't really smell any fish or anything, so maybe that worked. We'll give it a couple of days. I might throw some soap in there and stuff with it too. It actually kind of smells good in there. Yeah, like like a vinaigrette almost, because it's just so vinegary. Vinegary. That's what that smells like. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. Hey, this bread. Oh, my God.